Well, hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, it's going to be something a little bit different. In today's video, as you can see, we're in a different vehicle. And judging by the title that you've already read, to click on the video, you probably know what it is. It's a VW caddy van. Yes, I'm in my little VW caddy van. It's a uh, 2014 1.6 caddy van, little silver one, a high line. Nicely specced, actually. It's, uh, it's a nice one. It's got air con and uh, cruise control. So I thought if I'm going to use a van, I'm going to drive around in a van, I'm going to get a decent one. But I bought a high mileage one, that's why I got it a little bit cheaper. So why are we in a caddy van? Where are we going and what are we doing? Well, I was just thinking about it. You now I've got this little van. I didn't buy it for camping in or anything like that. It wasn't even on my thoughts or so on the agenda to do that. I just thought to myself a couple of days ago, I wonder if I could sleep in the back of the van. So I basically got in the back, laid out. Just, I can just fit, I think. It's a bit tight, but I can just fit. And then I started thinking, well, what if I just insulate it, you know, sound deaden it, insulate it, carpet it. I could actually potentially use it maybe in like winter or when the weather's bad or that kind of stuff because being in a roof tent you know on the uh, on the overland vehicle well it's great when the weather's nice but it's not always ideal if you haven't got an awning or you haven't got a covering or somewhere where you can cook under it's a bit difficult because you can't really cook in the car but you can in the back of a van so yeah i was thinking it might be a good idea what do you guys think do you think that might be a good idea? Do you think I should do a build? Do you think I should do a camper van build? You know, like a little micro camper. I'm thinking about doing it. So I thought what I'd do is I'd go out in it and see how I get on sleeping in it. And, um, you know, do it like a little wild camp in it. Right, I'm in Costco now. So let me just get this fuel. So yeah, while I'm in the queue waiting. Um, yeah, I thought, shall I do a wild camp in it? So because the van's bare and basic, it's just ply line how I bought it. I've done nothing to it. So it's not a camper van. It's just a van. Um, and then I was thinking, shall I just take my wild camping kit? I got, I've got a bag, a bug out bag, with all stuff in it to do wild camping. And I was planning to do a wild camp at some point in the future. Um, and I've got everything together, I think, to do it. But I haven't done it. So, do it in the van. So basically, don't bring any fancy kit, just the basics that you would in a backpack to go hiking. Do it in the van, so the van's not a camper van. Just basically doing a wild camp in a metal tent. It's basically a metal tent, isn't it? Uh, somewhere. So I'm gonna go and find somewhere to go, find somewhere to park up, and try and do a wild camp in the van somewhere, somewhere, don't know. I'm going to explore and find somewhere to go. I wonder if I could do it in Costco. <laughs> I'm going to go over and have a look at the signs, actually, because it's giving me ideas now. I wonder if I could do a stealth camp in um, Costco car park one night in the van. Yeah, maybe. I'll have a look. Let me go and have a look at the signs and see, see if it says anything like, you know, maximum three hours or anything like that. So, no, there wasn't any signs in Costco car park. There was nothing. No signs to say maximum stay three hours or anything like that. So yeah, there's a potential, a potential stealth camp in the van, if I do a van build that is. But that's depending on whether you people think it's a good idea or not. So I'm thinking it's quite a good idea though. So I'm already thinking it in my head, like let's do it, let's do a van build. Um, so yeah, but we're gonna go and try it out now. I'm gonna go and see how I get on in the van first before I even commit to anything and spend any money. So let's go. Right, I've uh, found a little spot, found a little park up look. This little road 
had like little parking bays. You know, like like this little one here. And there's actually a canal there. Just on the other side of that hedge is a canal. And obviously you've got uh, people in them. So yeah, and now we've got some bikes coming down now, look. Seems to be a few of them. Just coming down. Right. <laughs> they uh, wanted to be on video. Yeah, so there's there's a little van there. Let me give you a little look around it. So that's my little van, my little caddy van. And that's um that's actually how I bought it. Bought it like that. Got all these little, you know, I don't know what that is, bonnet spoiler thing and splitter under there which I've actually broken on the other side and needs a new fog light but um, yeah it's a nice little van windows are already tinted it's all ply lined in the back and this this is literally how it came so that's how it came like that and all I've done is I've just taken out that that bulkhead there was a bulkhead there and I couldn't get my seat back far enough. I couldn't get comfortable. So I took that out. Um, and that's it. I haven't done anything else to it. I've actually done nothing to the van whatsoever. So I'm thinking if I can sleep there, there's my bag. Got all my kit in there. So I'm hoping, what I'm hoping is it, is I can do everything with just out of that bag. Um, and I'm going to, use um some of the equipment i've actually not used before because it's just been in, it's just been in that bag there i bought it too much kit you know guilty of it too my kit i don't need or oh, didn't think i need but i might need it now so let's see let's see how we get on let's set it up actually let's try and get the bed set up right let's get the um get the sleeping pad out never used actually no I want to put this blanket on first I put a blanket just to sort of put on the ply line in so I don't catch it on this because some of it's a bit sharp it's a bit damaged and I don't want to catch my uh, mattress on it I don't think that's gonna be long enough actually is it it might be Actually, yeah, that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. So, in here, we've got... Trichology. Trichology, I loved. UL140 ultralight sleeping mat. Never used it. Didn't get it that long ago. So let's get that up and see what that's like. Um, that's the bottom. Now, if I remember rightly, it's got a little foot pump. Hmm, right, but I've got this flex tail and an electric pump. So I'm going to be using that. The bed's done, I might have to move the seat forward. And then I've got the Aluft, the Aluft Trichology pillow. Right, let's get that pumped up.
There's the pillow. I've even brought a sheet. This is what I use for my other my other mattress. I've got another I've got another mattress. It's uh, it's a big one. It's got a foam top and it's self-inflatable, but you wouldn't be able to put it in there or take it camping. It's literally just for car camping. So for today's video, I wanted to uh, yeah. I wanted to just try all this sort of kit because I've not slept on this, so I've no idea what it's like. And what I also have is I have this. It's uh, this. It's uh, a one tigris down quilt. It's not very thick, definitely only for summer use. in that little pouch and goes in there there's my tent that's a tent in there so in that big section we've got the tent the pillow the mattress and the quilt I need to figure out a solution though for the actual um, colder weather because this is okay, but like I said, it's not, it's not brilliant. So you may be asking, what else have I got in the bug out bag? Well, I have, you can't really see, there's not a lot of room in here. I'm already finding that I need more room and my boots are already really muddy so I had to take them off and put them there as well so yeah it's uh, it's already a bit of a challenge in hindsight I shouldn't have blew that out first because that was just in my way because I needed to sit here and try and cook something I've got to cook something so what have I got well I've got a firebox nano brilliant bit of kit um, and I've got a Trangia, an alcohol stove. So let me put that there. So what you can do with the Firebox Nano, because I'm not going to be doing, not going to be, it's a tweed stove, if you didn't know. Um, it's, uh, it's what you call a tweed stove. So it basically it's in that little, in that little box, you take it out, it's got a little felt wind stop. You can actually put a little um, a little rod in there and use that as a wind stop. Uh, but what this is used for is it pops open into a little stove. You just pop the pop the bottom in, sort of folds up. These are your legs. Put your legs out on it. And then you've got this little stove. And you can actually pop the trangier in there because it comes with these little rods. Which I should have got out before I put the base in. So what you do with these little these little rods look. And I don't know if you can see, but you sort of slot them through there and through there. And then inside, they go across. So the other one on the other side, the same. And then, can you see in there? So what happens is, you can then 
pop the transier in there and that sits in there look just on top so I'll take that off yeah as usual I'll do everything up super tight and I can never undo it again because I've done it up so tight because I've got fuel in it I've got fuel in there because it's got a little rubber it's got a little rubber um, o-ring in there to stop the fuel leaking out so I've got fuel in it I don't want to tip it up but yeah trust me there's fuel in there so we can pop that in there like that so now instead of using this firebox nano as a twig stove we can now use it as an alcohol burner along with the trangia it's designed to be used with the trangia that's why i bought the both so they're versatile i think it's you know it's genius really and i've got uh, this called outlery i'll show you those in a minute when i need them so what we're going to do now is we're going to get some water boil some water and i'll show you what i've got so what we got is i've got this little set from tbs stainless steel that's actually an insulated one i got the insulated one to keep the water cool in the summer it comes with a little pot okay and also a lid so it's got some little handles on it and it's also got a little handle so you can hang it up you know over a, little, over a campfire so what we do is we turn those in turn the legs in because you turn them out for a bigger pot and then you put them in for a smaller pot and what we have for dinner is wait for it it's really good <laughs> we have some chicken flavor noodles 79p look at that we're gonna have those because i was thinking of bringing something nice and whatever but trying to do a wild camp kind of thing you know so if i was actually backpacking i wouldn't be bringing a cool box and loads of food and i wouldn't have a fridge and all that so trying to keep it as basic as i can and i don't mind these so what we're going to do we're going to get this lit Can you see that? It's a big portion. No, no, <coughs> no idea how much water I need there. God, the writing's that small. Even in my eyesight, it's good, and I still can't read it. That's 400 mils of water. I'm hoping. Oh, look at that. We've got some. Tells me on the inside. Pretty sure it said 400 mil, but the writing was like that big. I'd have boring off for a cup of tea as well. Do you know what? I don't want too much water. Right. Let's get that on there. If I put the lid on, it'll boil even quicker, wouldn't it? I'm starving and I've never used this trend here before so it's new new to me I've never used it so it's pretty cool I like that little thing I wonder how long it's going to take to boil okay let's see how long it takes to boil I've used the firebox nano as you can see oh they're the little um the little legs you slot them in there and then you can stand that up as like a wind support and also it helps to keep it from running about. <coughs> I use that. I've got some bits of wood, little twigs and stuff. And I actually cooked some bacon. And uh, I made a bacon batch on that with a little pan. It's quite nice. Good. So I'm going to boil that. And uh, I'm going to have that in a minute when it's boiled. Well, I think that's boiling. Oh, a bit of a flame is going on there. Yep, that's boiling, but what I didn't think about was something to take this off with. So I'm going to have to use this. Put it on the lid. And then 
Oh, I need to move them. Because I can't... Ah, okay. I need to put that on because I've got the little supports in there. Little pot supports. Okay, that'll do. Normally though, you just pop that on the top. But those little supports are in the way for the pot. That's normally how you put it out, just pop that on the top. But there you go, that did the job. Oh, yeah, it's a bit cramped in here. Oh, I'll move, right. Can I open it without destroying it? Just about. It's obviously the, uh, the spices, chicken spices. Move on. hot to pick up. A bit hot handle that is. That's quite handy having that little felt so, um, windbreak. Okay that'll do it all too much water in. I wonder if I've got enough for a cup of tea. I'll pop a tea bag in there. And what I brought I brought some Earl Grey because you don't need milk with Earl Grey. You don't put milk in Earl Grey traditionally. Should have popped it in there when it was boiling though. So we're supposed to use boiling water with tea, but not coffee. Right. I'll show you these. The outlery. Oh, that car was moving. Before the van go then. Yeah. These little pieces screw together. And there we have a fork. So I can give that a little stir. And spoon although it's a bit of a big spoon for a cup of tea but do you know what it will do i do have a teaspoon somewhere but i don't know where not much of a cup of tea it's only about half a cup of tea but i didn't really want to waste the water and i did fancy a cup of tea after i put the water on i thought should have made a cup of tea well, I think I've got to leave this for five minutes. You know, I didn't time how long that took to boil the water. I forgot. I did look at it. I thought, right, I'll time it. I completely forgot. This is supposed to be left for five minutes. Well, I've left it for no idea how many minutes. So I should time it now. Three or four minutes, I suppose. Do you like the little light? There, look. It's a little... Compact solar light compacts down, turns into a little torch. It's pretty good, eh? Oh, it actually goes brighter, yeah. It goes bright and brighter again. I forgot it went brighter. Should probably use the brighter one. But yeah, you obviously you can charge it up with a little solar panel, and I'll just stick it on the dash and carry everywhere with me, take it everywhere. She's always in that backpack, so I've always got a little solar light if I ever need a light. It's pretty good up there. <sighs> yeah, if I'm going to turn this over to a camp, I definitely need to sort out some lights in here. Some LED lights in the roof or something would be perfect, wouldn't it? So what do you think? Do you think I should do a camper? Camper van. It's a bit small, but... The verdict's still out, eh?
we'll wait till the morning shall we let's see how we get on with the uh noodles first <laughs> cooking though seems to be successful cook some basic food with some basic equipment no gas no electric just some basics and it all came out you know very small form factor all fits in a backpack that's what i'm trying to do you see in this little this little cup it's like a little test to see if i could sort of just do it all out of a backpack in the back of the van so literally just grab the backpack chuck it in the van and uh see, is it doable really and then obviously if it's doable doing that with the basics with nothing else it's going to be good it's going to be better when it's all done nice isn't it carpeted all the you know put some carpet on here and put some lights in the roof and put some lino on the floor and insulate it and sound then it's a bit noisy it should be all right then it should be pretty good how long's that i think that's ready you know Let's see what these are like. Never had these before. Thought they were never in the noodles then. They were right actually. It's all self contained, don't even need to use a bowl and get it dirty. I've got loads of carrier bags down there as well for me rubbish, so I'm good to go. Right, how's my tea looking? That'll do. That'll do. Don't want to brew it for too long because there isn't a lot of water there. Right, I'm going to enjoy this and then I shall get the bed ready, I think, and maybe start to chill out relax down for the night it's quarter to nine now so it's not dark yet but i've got a plan to put a sheet like a fleece or something up there because i've got i nicked some pegs from the house I thought oh i'll peg that on there i don't know if it'll work or not but i was thinking of putting it up because i only had to cover that but because i took the other bulkhead out i've now got this big space so really i want to block out any light in here don't i down there and I want to keep it like stealthy, you know. I don't really want it blaring light out there. And I think when you put window covers in as well, that's obvious when you're sleeping in it as well. I don't really want people to know I'm in here. So it's kind of like a stealth camp as well, really, isn't it? Oh, is it a stealth camp or a world camp? Is it? I don't know. Right, I'm going to get this out and enjoy. Right, the noodles went down. They went down a treat. Filled me up actually. Did the job, you know. It's not gourmet food, but it does the job. So I've got the bed set up. I don't know if you're going to be able to see though, because it's... I've got the bed. Hey, look, the bed set up behind me. I've got myself a little fan. I've got my little light. And then alcohol gel to give my hands a little wipe because I'm going to have some crisps. I've got a lovely. I got a crisp, salt and vinegar crisps um, that I got from Aldi, you know, like the specially selected ones. And I got myself a bottle of that. It's not enough light in here, is there really? I've got a bottle of that, Kentish Pale Ale. So I'm going to have that with a packet of crisps. And I'm going to sit down and watch something on the iPad. I didn't know if there's going to be any signal where I, where I ended up residing for the evening. So I downloaded some episodes of something I'm watching on Netflix, downloaded it to the iPad. So if I had no signal, I could still watch something. So yeah, I'm going to chill out now. I'm going to get some sleep. Hopefully I have a good night's sleep. There's a few cars passing, but not much traffic. It's, it's only half nine, so it's not late. Um, and it's getting quieter, yeah. It's, it's, can you hear the birds? You can hear some traffic in the distance, but yeah. I've got my curtain up. Oh, yeah, I didn't show you my curtain, did I? 
Oh, it's a shame you can't really see it. Let me put this other light on. Let me put this little solar light on. Okay, that's brighter now, look. There you go. Can you see? I pinned it up with uh, some pegs. See? It's like a, it's like a brown fleece and I've just made a curtain out of it. So yeah, you can see. You can see the bottom of the bed. Can't really see a lot, can you, in here, really? There's not much room, so anyway. I'm going to chill out. I'm going to say good night, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, morning all. It's about 9, 9 a.m. now. I went to sleep about 11.30 p.m. last night after watching some stuff on Netflix. And I woke up about 3.30 a.m. in the morning. Freezing cold, actually. The cold woke me up, this little down quilt. Um, yeah, isn't very good, actually. And it's summer. You know, it's it's bloody summer. So I thought it was going to be um, red hot in here. I thought it was going to be like a sweat box. Because <clears throat> it was a bit warm when I closed the side door to the van. It was a bit warm in here. And I thought, oh, it's going to be too hot in the night. No, the temperature did drop. I don't know what it went to. I didn't check on my phone. I was too sleepy. But yeah, it's flipping freezing. I ended up having to get this blanket and put it on top, which didn't really do a lot. And then I woke up with a neck ache because this, this this pillow is not quite deep enough for me. Um, and I was just so cold, I couldn't warm up. And I think that just kept me awake. There was no traffic, though. No noise. It was peaceful. So it was a nice, peaceful night. And... Um, a couple of cars this morning and he just started coming past to be honest and a horse just went past just heard the i just heard the hoofs of the horse go past which is nice uh we, you always know you're kind of rural when you hear that so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get myself a coffee because i really need one and uh get some breakfast needs a transier again that's that's all i brought with me I think I've got enough water left in there. Actually, I should measure it out. On my little Sea to Summit collapsible cup. I've got myself some of these little cappuccino sachets from Aldi. I've never had them before. And what I'm thinking of doing is making some scrambled eggs for breakfast. I do have a little coffee 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 pot so i'm still waking up i did buy this a little pot of protein oats it's again lightweight and everything and yeah it would have been easier to have used that rather than that that's a bit of extra weight to carry um and the eggs but I fancy scrambled eggs. I suppose I'm not. I'm not actually on a wild camp, so I'm thinking I can allow myself to have some scrambled eggs. Although I could have put all that in my bag, I could have carried it, so I could have actually taken it on a wild camp. I don't know. This isn't a true proper wild camp. I know that. But I'm just trying to do as close as possible to a wild camp in the hills than a, in, in the back of a van so i've made i've made sure that i haven't used any any extra kit uh, obviously um you know i did bring some extra water in case i really needed it but i haven't i've been trying to just use the water 
that I've got in there and the water that I brought in that and that's it I have actually successfully done that so I have kept it true and authentic and haven't used anything extra I haven't used any extra kit that's making some funny noises <laughs> So, what do you guys think then? Do you think it's possible to do a wild camp in the back of a caddy van? I think it is, because I have done it. Once I've had this coffee and my breakfast, that's it, that's, that's, that's me done. Um, I'll be heading back. Do you see that? Did you see that shake then? Yeah. They go back, go past a bit quick, it does shake. So, can I sleep in the back of a short wheelbase caddy van? The answer to that is yes. So is it viable as a micro camper for me? Yes, it is. I can do it, just. I'm gonna to have to be really, really thoughtful with my space and stuff though, because yeah, I'm still finding space an issue, to be fair. Um, <coughs> but, um, Yes, I think we uh, I think we should plan to go ahead and do a van build because I, I could sleep in there. Obviously, I wasn't that comfortable, but it was quite raw, so like I say. So yeah, let's go. Let's let's do it. Let's do a van build. Actually, let's get some breakfast. I can hear the diesel engine of a. Uh, narrow boat going past next to a canal right that's done and it's now time to plate up you really do with a bit of black pepper though on this Not much, does it? You put four eggs in, you think, oh, that'd be plenty. But yeah, it is plenty, but never seems to be just quite enough. I know a bit of toast would be nice with it, wouldn't it? Some Warburton's toasty, you know, farmhouse. Actually, the farmhouse, farmhouse is nicer. Hmm, lovely with loads of butter on, but I'm not going to do that now because I don't have a toaster and I don't have any bread. <laughs> so I'm just going to have that, and that's perfectly enough. And I'm going to enjoy my coffee. Because it isn't actually too bad. Yeah, it's alright, it's okay, it's okay. So I'm going to enjoy this. And I'm going to say that that was a success. I managed to cook, I managed to sleep, and I managed to cook some breakfast and just do everything that you would expect to do in a camper van in a non-build camper van, no-build camper van, <laughs> work van, so there. Okay guys, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I think I'll end the video there. That's, uh, you've probably had enough now seeing me cooking and eating scrambled eggs. And if you uh, if you enjoyed the video, yeah, give me a like guys, and uh, I'd appreciate the comments as well. I'd appreciate, you know, any thoughts or any suggestions about, you know, doing a build in this little uh, short wheelbase caddy van. Uh, and obviously, yeah, I've got to plan a build and what I'm going to do and obviously I need to uh, budget for it as well because uh, money obviously is, you know, I've got, to, I've got to get the money together to do it. I, you know, I'm still wanting to do stuff to the uh, to the Subaru, to the Outback. So, um, yeah, I don't imagine things are cheap to do these builds either. I've got to get some sound deadening and some carpet insulation. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. So I'm going to try and see how much all that lot's going to cost and see if I can budget for that. But I won't bore you with that. I'm going to eat that and I'm going to let you guys get on with the rest of your day or evening whenever you've watched it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.